Clifton's Cafeteria was a cafeteria-style eatery in Los Angeles that opened in 1931 and closed in 2018. Thank you for your suggestion. Clifton's Cafeteria was founded in 1931 by Clifford Clinton. Clinton had leased the distressed cafeteria location at 618 South Olive Street in Los Angeles and founded what his customers referred to as the Cafeteria of the Golden Rule. The name was created by combining Clifford and Clinton to produce Clifton's. The design of the restaurants included exotic decor and facades that were kitschy and theatrical and would eventually include multi-story fake redwood trees, stuffed lions, neon plants, and a petrified wood bar. The cafeteria reminds me of an early version of what other stores like Bass Pro Shop and restaurants like Rainforest Cafe tried to emulate later on. The second Clifton's facility opened in 1935 at 648 South Broadway. In 1939, its name was changed to Clifton's Brookdale. This location is actually still around and is the sole survivor of the multiple branches over the 79 years. The restaurant chain was noted for each facility having its own theme and for aiding those who could not afford to pay. This approach to business reflected the owner's Christian values. He never turned anyone away hungry and maintained a precedent set by the first restaurant on Olive Street, known as Clifton's Golden Rule. Clifton sought to average only a half cent profit per customer. During one 90-day period, 10,000 people ate free before he was able to open an emergency penny cafeteria in a basement a few blocks away to feed 2 million patrons during the next two years. In 1946, Clifford and his wife Nelda sold their cafeteria interests to their three younger Clinton children and retired to devote their attentions to Meals for Millions, a nonprofit charitable organization he founded in the wake of World War II to distribute food to millions of starving and malnourished people throughout the world. The restaurants had been cafeteria style with each dish sold on a paper item basis. Featured were fountain soft drinks and classic American fare such as roast beef, brisket, meatloaf and turkey with a wide assortment of traditional sides. In the early days of the business, patrons were obliged to pay only what they felt was fair according to the neon sign that flashed pay what you wish. The cafeteria, which was near Route 66, was notable for serving people of all races and was included in the Green Book. Revolving daily specials often included a fish plate and fried chicken plate, both of which came with mashed potatoes and vegetables, and in keeping with the eatery's retro spirit, there was also a selection of jello salads, soups, vegetables, breads, and classic desserts such as cakes and pies. In 1939, the founders of Clifton's remodeled the restaurant to change it from a conventional dining establishment to a more exotic setting and renamed it Clifton's Pacific Seas. The exterior and interior were decorated with 12 waterfalls, volcanic rock, and tropical foliage. Brightly illuminated in the evening, it became a mecca for tourists and angelinos alike often being referred to in the same category as other prominent landmarks of downtown Los Angeles. In 1960, although the three-story structure with its cascading waterfall facade had become a landmark over the preceding 29 years, the original Clifton's Pacific Seas was closed, the building was raised, and the location was turned into a parking lot. Clifton's second Golden Rule, which opened in 1935, was located in the former Booze Brothers Cafeteria at 648 South Broadway in Los Angeles. 
Having himself spent time as a youth in the Santa Cruz Mountains, not far from Brookdale Lodge, he chose to redecorate the facility in 1939 to pattern it after the lodge. Clifford created a 20-foot waterfall cascading into a quiet stream, which then meandered through the dining room past faux redwood trees used to conceal the room's steel columns. Renowned Los Angeles muralist Einar Peterson created a life-size forest on canvas to cover one wall. Clifton's cafeteria was renamed Clifton's Brookdale. The interior included a stuffed moose head, animated raccoons, and a fishing bear. In January of 1955, it was announced that the Lakewood Center in Lakewood, California would, in 1956, become the location for the third Clifton's Cafeteria. The Lakewood branch would close in 2001. In 1958, a Clifton's opened in West Covina, California at the Eastland Shopping Center. In 1978, Clifton's moved to the West Covina Fashion Plaza, now called Westfield West Covina, where it stayed in business until 2003. In 1965, ground was broken in Century City, California for a 1966 opening of a new branch. The outlet operated for over 20 years before it closed at the end of 1986. In 1975, the company opened Clifton Silver Spoon at 515 West 7th Street in Los Angeles. In 1997, the Silver Spoon location was closed. Clifton's would also have locations in Whittier, Woodland Hills, San Bernardino, and Laguna. In June 2006, co-owner Robert Clinton took final steps to purchase the Broadway building they had been leasing for 71 years. With over 600 seats on three floors and known as Clifton's Cafeteria, it was noted as the oldest cafeteria in Los Angeles and the largest public cafeteria in the world in 2009. The third floor included a party room, a banquet room, and many pictures of Clifford and Nelda Clinton. There was also a secret room on an upper floor. There was also another set of restrooms down in the stairs in the bottom basement, and the restaurant's busiest period was in the 40s, with as many as 10,000 customers forming lines down Broadway. But by 2009, Clifton's regularly serving 1,800 to 2,000 daily. In September of 2010, Clifton's Brookdale was sold to a nightclub operator who decided to renovate and remodel the building. The building was closed for repairs in 2011. During renovations, a partition wall was removed, revealing a neon light that was still switched on, apparently having been lit continuously for 77 years. It may be the oldest continuously illuminated neon light in the world. The revamped restaurant had multiple eating and drinking establishments inside the building, including a bakery, a version of the 1935 original classic cafeterias on the ground and second floors, an old-school steakhouse on the third floor, and a tiki-themed bar on the fourth floor to be named South Seas in honor of the original 1931 facility. The restaurant finally reopened on October 1, 2015. The cafeteria was closed permanently in November of 2018 and was replaced by a bar called Clifton's Republic. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.